गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल एंड सेव एट होम सो टूडे वी विल स्टडी ग्रामर एज यू नो दैट वेन वी स्पीक टू सम वन वी यूज वर्ड्स एंड वी यूज दिस वर्ड्स इन ग्रुप्स टू मेक अ मीनिंगफुल सेंटेंसेस सो What is sentences? Means वाक्य हम शब्दों के शब्दों के प्रयोग से वाक्य बनाते हैं ओके सो फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज सेंटेंसेस मीन्स वाक्य सो हाउ वी मेक सेंटेंसेस बाय यूजिंग ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स नाउ सी द डेफिनेशन What is sentence? A sentence is a group of words which makes complete sense. So we can say that a sentence is a group of words which makes complete sense. Now see note. Every sentence begins with a capital letter. A sentence often ends with a full stop or a question mark. or an exclamation mark depending upon its kind so always remember that a sentence begins with a capital letter and it can ends with a full stop or a question mark or exclamatory mark it depends upon its kinds means which type of sentence it is now see exercise 1 put these words in the correct order to make sentences begin each sentence with a capital letter put a full stop or a question mark at the end so what you have to do in this you have to correct the order okay you have to put these words in correct order and make a correct sentences Now see the first one. It is jumbling words. That is wants, ice cream, and the boy. You have to write it in correct order. That is, so the correct sentence is the boy wants an ice cream. Now see the second one. To God he every day prays. He prays to God every day. Watched last. night a video we we watched a video last night channel 5 the program on is the program is on channel 5 is flying the field over the bird the bird is flying over the field a goal to score anand is going anand is going to score a goal in this way you have to write the sentences now see for school i late was yesterday i was late for school yesterday the world english throughout is spoken english is spoken throughout the world the sun round the earth goes the earth goes round the sun good honey you health for is honey is good for your health you have to complete these sentences in your book now see exercise 2 make a sentence of your own with each of the following one has been done for you now you have you have to make the sentences okay by your own by the given phrase now see the moon and night so the sentence is the moon shines at night you have to make the sentence by using these words qutub minar and delhi the qutub minar is in delhi birds and nest birds build nest dogs and bone the dogs fought over the bone cat and milk 
द कैट ड्रिंक्स मिल्क जिम एंड हिज कैट जिम प्लेस विथ हिज कैट द सन एंड द मून आई रीड अ स्टोरी अबाउट द सन एंड द मून बटरफ्लाय एंड विंग्स शी हैड अ बटरफ्लाय विंग्स एंड इट इज वेरी प्रिटी now see kinds of sentences now look at the following groups of sentences the earth goes round the sun rabbits have short tails he uses the internet every day ants are always busy joyita was an intelligent girl now see these sentences have some meanings or says or state something so it is called declarative sentence each of the above sentences says or states something it makes a statement so when the sentences say something or state something it makes a statement so it is called declarative sentence and it always end with full stop so a declarative sentence ends with a full stop now see second where are you going have you seen a cobra what are you talking about who broke this jug whose bat is this now these are the sentences asking a question so therefore it is called interrogative sentence so each of the above sentences ask a question it is called and is therefore called an interrogative sentence so whenever sentence is used for asking question there should be question mark at the end of each sentence and it is called interrogative sentence now see third stand at ease means aaram se khade raho speak the truth mind your own business please come tomorrow so these sentences expresses a command or request so when the sentence express a command or request it is called imperative sentence okay now see the fourth one how well she sings how very cold the night is what a fool he is what a shame so when the sentence express feeling strong feeling then it is called exclamatory sentence and each sentence have exclamatory mark at the end okay so each of the above sentences expresses strong feeling okay and it is called an exclamatory sentence now see exercise we know are some sentences without punctuation marks classify the sentence as interrogative in imperative i am exclamatory e or declarative d put the correct punctuation mark at the end of each sentence you have to recognize the sentence and you have to put exclamatory or correct punctuation mark okay exclamatory declarative imperative or interrogative and you have to put punctuation mark at the end of this sentence each sentence now see first one how well she dances so this is uh it states feelings so exclamatory mark this is exclamatory sentence why because it express feelings okay how well she dances how many tv channels do you have this is asking question that is interrogative play the movie again now this shows imperative sentence the cow is a useful animal it says something okay or state something so it is declarative sentence now here play the moving again is order so it is imperative how wonderful the weather is this exclamatory sentence pass the salt please imperative what a lovely flower exclamatory sentence 
have you paid the phone bill that is interrogative the dog chased the boy it is declarative why is she laughing question interrogative what a good idea it is feelings means exclamatory how are you ready to leave that is question interrogative look at those birds that is imperative where have you put the remote control asking questions interrogative turn the tv down that is imperative order please give me the remote that is also order means imperative okay so my dear students you have to complete this exercises in your book